guys, so recently I did a video where I was playing Launchpad and uh, you guys wanted a tutorial, so here it is. So I'm gonna show you how to set up your song, how to set up your Launchpad and how to play the song. So first, you go to Options, Media Settings. Uh, before we get started, I just wanna say you need FL Studio 11. It doesn't work on the previous versions and you need Launchpad as well. So when we got FL Studio 11, we go to Options, MIDI Settings, and we connect our Launchpad, so it should be here, um, on Output and Input, and you just select this, you go to Port, you choose 115, and you enable it, and you do the same for Input, also 115, and Control Type Novation Launchpad. So that should be it, you should be ready to go. So then. You select the song, so I choose Feed Me No Grip for this tutorial. And um, next thing you need to do is um, uh, find out the tempo or BPM of the song. Um, you can either do this by just Googling it. Go to Google, do Feed Me No Grip BPM, and you will most likely find it. Um, also, you can go to Beatport, and if your truck is there, it is uh, Beatport shows the BPM of the songs, so if your track is on Beatport, you can do it that way. But if it's not, you can just do it. Um, I'm just going to show you how you can do it as well if you have no information from the internet. So you just find the first kick in the song, which is here. You can tell by the waveform, but you can just play the song and hear for yourself. Um, so you're going to select the first kick and it should start right on on the beginning of a bar and I think it's right here okay so that's our first kick here you just move it here so it starts exactly on this uh, black line so it's on the beginning of a bar or it can be just on the beginning of the song itself and then you need to find uh, the snare that is going right after the kick so I'm pretty sure it's this one and um, I already figured out the tempo it's 110 but I'm just gonna change it to show you uh, how to find out so you got your first kick here and the next kick or next snare rather should hit uh, on the next beat so this right here is one beat and um, here you have a second beat so that's where the next snare should hit and it is right here but we want it right here so you're just gonna move the tempo until you have your snare on the next beat and you need to make sure it's, it is the case for the rest of the song so you have your kick here and your snare here so that's how you know um, yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much it. Or is this one bar? I'm not, not even sure now. Beat bar. This is one beat, okay. And this is one bar. Yeah, okay. So you're gonna make sure um, your kick is in one bar and your snare... One beat and your snare is in another one. Let me see, beat is this and... Uh, bar is this whole thing so that's right so make sure you have that so here's the kick here's the snare here's the kick here's the snare always beginning on the next beat and uh, make sure it's the case for the rest of the song uh, we can actually yeah well when you have this you basically have the tempo the bpm um so then what we're gonna do um it's pretty simple Let's go to the drop and we're gonna just cut some parts of the song that we wanna have um, working with our launchpad. So each button on launchpad will have a different power of the song. So you can either do that with a slice tool and you're just gonna slice on every beat. So I do it like kick and snare is each part. So he here up we will have the kicks. And basically the beats that start with the kicks and uh, the second one will be the snares. 
So you can either either cut one whole bead or you should, you can just do like half of it or depends on what kind of um what you are going for. If you just want to make a really different song, you probably want smaller parts so you can mess around with it more, but if you just want to play it, you can uh, just go with the whole beat and it will be easier. So if, as uh, if you are just a beginner, you, you could just do it this way. You have the whole beats. Okay, maybe you don't understand yet, but I'm just gonna uh, keep uh, keep doing this. So you're just gonna make the slices, but you can also do it this way. It's uh, probably easier. You just uh, select this play thing on your song and you go chop and you choose chop in beats and it's gonna automatically chop each uh, each beat and then you're just gonna make sure you have your snares and kicks separated so you don't get it confused um, and I'm just gonna do like four each so then when you have your kicks and snares just check it So each uh, button on your launchpad should be starting with either a kick or snare. Now then you're gonna go here, click here and uh, choose performance mode. And then you're gonna go to tools and uh, you're gonna go to macros and you go prepare for performance mode. And you're gonna click OK. So now you have your launchpad basically here. It's like part one, part two. So this is your launch pad and here are your kicks and and the snares. So I'm just going to turn on the camera and be right back so you can see it actually on the launch pad. So yeah. Now you should be able to see it on the camera somewhere. Um and um we're just going to drag our chopped parts here. So now few of the buttons should light up. Um, now we're gonna do a simple thing. So we're just gonna put our snares away and put each kick on the on one pad like this. We could actually go do do it like this and then put your snares next to it. Um, I usually uh, do one part pad empty so I see where the here are the kicks and here are the snares so I see it better when there is just line between them but if you have a big project you probably don't don't want to do that okay so now when we have our kicks and pads we can actually test it out so the way you play it it's pretty simple you just click it and um, if you want to turn off the sound you click the next empty pad or the one below it so let's just you need to uh, run the song, so you just run the song and then you play. Okay, so that's basically how you play it, you click them. Um, but um, you probably want to change some settings because they are repeating now and that's not very good. So we we want to go, we want to right click on the track one. And what I do is uh, I do hold and stop. So the sample is only playing when you hold it and it stops if if you stop uh, holding it and uh, then I do one shot so it only plays once it won't repeat or anything and I do trigger sin one beat I do one beat for sometimes I do more uh, less but it, uh, one beat will be just fine for this one um what that does is basically it's gonna synchronize the next pressed button so it's it's not it's not going to start before you want it to start it's just going to start on the next beat um okay and then we're going to do the same one for the track 2 so one more time hold and stop one shot and one beat and now we're going to play okay guys so in the next clip i'm actually playing launchpad and um it's the same song, but I just um, chopped more parts of the song. And you can notice that on the left, I got the kicks and on the right, I got the snares. And all you need to do is um, switch 
between kicks and snares. So once you press kick and then you press snare and so on. And you can actually do a lot of creative things with this. Um, uh, this is just some beginner stuff. So yeah, uh, also a project file of that project you will see right now is available. And um, thanks for watching and hopefully you learned something new. Bye bye.